Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because first off it was requested by y'all and second it is a recommendation that I can attest to time and time again because it involves my favorite tote, the St. Anne tote from Barrington Gifts. If you have ever looked at my blog or Instagram, you have probably seen one of these totes. This is a new pattern for me and for the brand this season. So not necessarily this exact one, but this same style with a leather box and a canvas exterior that has a print on it. And all of mine have monograms as well. And this one has a really cute shadow text monogram with a pink and an orange. But I'm gonna share with y'all what all I keep inside this bag. And I also have a blog post with images of what I keep inside as well so you can check that out if you're interested but these are seriously the best totes I think I've been using one since my jun sophomore or junior year of college they're super spacious they have some pockets on the inside and the leather makes them very durable and I really like the zipper pocket in the back as well and the fact that you can fully customize them so you'll probably spend way too much time on their website customizing all of their different pieces again this is the St. Anne tote but I have a duffel from them they make laptop cases all sorts of things that are really fun to design and would make perfect Christmas gifts either for yourself or for friends and family so I'm gonna go ahead and share what I keep inside so that I don't spend all of my time just raving about that but also show you some of the things that I love to take to work with me every day so first is this truffle clear palette. So in it, I just have my computer cord and phone charger. The cord from my computer that I use personally, but a lot of times when I bring my work one home, I'll just throw it in here as well. These make great gifts. They are TSA approved and they come in a bunch of different sizes, which is awesome. This one I usually use for makeup and I usually use one that has a white top um, for my tote bag, but they have lots of different colors that you can choose from and match whatever you want to use it for. Next, I have two planners, which I know is excessive. <clears throat> this is actually the one I'll be using for next year that I've shown in a previous video, but it's a day designer and this is for 2020, so it makes sense that it's for next year. I actually have the planner that I'm using this year, which is a dapper desk um, from Emily Lay, and it's on my desk at work. So I don't have it to show, but I like to keep that in my tote bag so that I can keep organized on the go. And then this is my blog planner, which is just from Target. So another staple to have since a lot of times I'll write things down um, when I'm not necessarily at my desk or if I'm at a coffee shop. So I like to keep it with me and this one's really slim so it's easy to tote around. Next up is my laptop sleeve, which has my laptop in it. I don't even know, I think this is a Mac Pro and I got it when I graduated from grad school. So semi-recently, but I don't know the model. Um, and I've had this Kate Spade laptop case for years and really love it. Um, I like that it's slim, but Barrington has a very similar one that may be the next of the items from their site that I choose to purchase. And lastly, because I have this fear that I'm gonna go somewhere without food, which like there's food readily available. So I don't know why this is something that I'm so afraid of. Um, but I keep this Gigi New York pouch filled with a couple granola bars um, and some pretzels in my bag as well, just so that there is always a snack on hand if I need it, because when my blood sugar drops, it's not pretty. And then the last thing I have in here is also kind of odd um, and semi-old fashioned, but it is my checkbook. So, you know, sometimes you write checks when you're paying bills so that's what that's in there for um, and that empties out my tote so now you can see the inside a little bit better right now I don't have anything in these front pockets just because I haven't been going to coffee shops with this particular bag but usually I'll put some pins a hair tie um, sometimes I keep nail polish just to touch up in those front pockets and it makes it so that they don't just roll around in the bottom of the bag good because then I'm not going to stain it but I hope y'all enjoyed this quick video and like I said, you can see the blog post that shows all the contents of the bag and includes links to everything I've shown on the blog at www.prepinyourstep.com and one of the first links below will also be Barrington Gifts so that you can see all of their different cute, fun, printed bags um, since the holidays are approaching and I know that everyone's looking for creative gift ideas for the people they're shopping for. So. I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.